Before hooking up the Seedhawk hydraulic hoses, we must ensure our tractor has two hydraulic circuits with Pioneer ends to operate the toolbar. We also need to ensure we have a return line plumbed for the tractor reservoir for our toolbar and one for our fan case strain of the tank. It is critical that the two lines of the tractor reservoir are unrestricted. Talk to a certified Seadoc dealer for installation of the return lines. First we will describe each of the components on the machine that is needed when hooking up a Seadoc toolbar. The single red banded hose is used to pressure the hydraulic block which controls our openers. This remote is engaged while seating. There are two green banded hoses. The large band is pressure out and the small band is pressure in. This remote is engaged while seating also and is the same circuit that lifts and lowers the wings of the toolbar. The single yellow banded hose is your return line for the hydraulic block. There is a 25 pin round connector, a 7 pin round connector, and a 4 pin square connector. Plug in the single red banded hose into circuit number 1 of your tractor. Plug the two green banded hoses into your number 2 circuit. Note that the narrow band is always pressure in and the wide band is pressure out. Plug in the single yellow banded return line into one of the circuits that is plumbed to your reservoir. You will notice there is no ball within the coupler to ensure it is unrestricted. We can now connect the three electrical connectors. A large round 25 pin connector and a small square Deutsch connector will plug into the tractor harness. Connect the 7 pin round connector which will power up the clearance and tail lights. Your toolbar is now connected to your tractor.